Vitiligo, as you are aware, is a very common pigmentary disorder. The basic principle of surgical management is to transplant viable and active melanocytes from the donor areas, irrespective of whatever method of surgical repigmentation that we choose in our patients. There are certain criteria that will help us to select the ideal candidate. So first and foremost, as we have seen, this is a very simple, safe and inexpensive procedure. The only thing you did may invest for this procedure is the skills part. The specific indications for suction blister grafting would be, number one, any patient with stable vitiligo. It is the best procedure for treating small, localized patches of vitiligo. Uh, whether uh, the grafted areas will relapse or will recur in the future. Well, here you have to be very upfront with the patient. Like every rose has its thorns, so does any procedure. And the same applies for suction vista epidermal grafting. I'm Dr. Shaman Taborwa, a faculty in the Department of Dermatology, Assam Medical College, and a practicing dermatologist at Debrugge since over 15 years. I'm here today to discuss about the surgical management of vitiligo with particular reference to suction blister grafting. <laughs>